Hey, what's going on guys? Pods here and we're back again with another video to show you guys. And today, I'm going to test my uh, Meteor Pulse build, which uh, I am currently uh, building on. Our target is Demon, Large Water, and uh, we have a self buffs in here, which is Satisfied Feast, a uh, Dex B, and then Lock P. We only need those two. Of course, and then this low attack alloy, and then wind damage, yeah, plus five percent. So let's see how much damage we deal in it. All right, so we are dealing around thirteen m, which is uh, I think nice. And uh, I also have a footage in here a while ago. This is me without mops. So let's now talk about this uh, build. Alright, so what I have in here is this one plus 15 Forest Hunter, which has a nice uh, crit damage 7.1% in it. So far at the moment, this is going to be nice. We also have crit damage on my Abyssal Cry. And then um, physical damage increase on my Epic Spirit Lightning. Dreamweb Silk, 9.2. One and then currently I am using this portable Divirachi which has a uh, critical plus five and then crit damage plus seven percent and then summer banana split fading tier I'm going to change this one into critical uh, ring uh, in the future dog servant is going to be good and also of this plus 10 white wing puts which is nice it has a uh, crit plus 2 and then crit damage plus 2 percent and then if plus 5 we'll have an additional crit plus 2 and then crit damage plus 2 percent a sniper's manchu critical plus 5 and then critical chance increases by 5 percent we also have yogan card in here critical plus uh, 10 and then each point of critical we increase crit damage by 0.1% so this is going to be good white wing armor uh, we're currently using this one since unfortunately we did not uh, get a plus 10 in it i'm going to try my luck on the next one we also have this Hellion Bracelet with uh, crit damage plus 7.3% and I'm going to get a uh, hopefully get a uh, critical damage in this one and also this one. The Meteor Pulse damage uh, will depend on your critical damage so the more critical damage you have the more the damage output will become alright and then for our stat the stat that i have in here is uh, full dex and then full luck all right so let's now go to our monument where's the monument there you go in here you only need to improve your of course holy damage fire damage you should take that one and then Exceed Break Mastery, you should get this one. And then Deadly Snipe Enhance, you should get that one. Bear in mind guys, what I am uh, saying in here. And Elemental Arrow, you should get this one also. Both of these. Uh, Nature's Protection is good also, but not a uh, priority. Windwalk Protection, not priority. And then Deadly Snipe Precision, your top priority is that one. Alright. And then what else? 
I think that's it. Uh, we also have another elemental arrow in here. And yeah, that's the priority that you need to get. And then attacks. You also need to get the attacks in here. And then critical. Since there are uh, a bunch of critical rune also in here. Also, don't forget the crit damage also. We have a bunch of crit damage in here. Look at that. And then, yeah. We also have a critical damage in here. Yes. There we go. We should take this one. And yeah, that's it. About the advanced rune. Let me show you my advanced rune. I am only using this precision sniper rune which is an additional critical and dead crit damage in it. Unfortunately, we did not have a high digits in here. So hopefully in the future, I can get those high digits. I also have only 53% deadly snipe critical damage on this one which is not that good. And also the critical plus 9 on this one. And then Shadow Tracking Rune for PvP. I'm going to use this one also. For the Attack Rune, Damage Increase, Penetration, Critical Damage. Of course, you need to prioritize this one. And then Assault Attack Rune, which is nice also. You can also use Dex or Luck. But I prefer Dex since uh, it can improve our damage. The Luck is only secondary. Alright. So this is the stat that I have on my monument, critical plus 16.2 uh, and then crit damage is 11. Alright, so you should uh, bear this in mind. Dex plus 12, you should also take this dex. The attack of course, fire damage and then holy damage, take that one. And yeah, that's it. For my blessing of goddess, critical damage, look at that. You should boost this one if you want to have a high critical damage my uh, pray to goddess is only attack plus uh, for 171 at the moment i am going to uh, improve this one in the future and on my handbook i have uh, a 1.3 attack dex uh, plus 3 and then crit damage is plus 13% should get that one also this is the skill build that I have all's eye elemental arrow level 20 you only need a level 10 vultures eye and uh, level 20 improve concentration and yeah that's it true sight level 10 wind walk and then exit break of course level 15 and then level 13 deadly snipe you should uh, have this one the improvement on the monument the deadly snipe final critical chance plus 15 and also deadly snipe damage plus 25 percent uh, getting this one also will help you improve your uh, defense and then for the fourth job of course, we need the Meteor Pulse, this one, damage plus 30% uh, which is very very nice. Fancy Star also, when receiving physical attacks, there's a 50% chance of shooting a star to the target and deals uh, attack times 600% in addition reduces their uh, hit by 50 last 5 seconds which is good can also reduce the enemy's crit and crit resistance by 25 which is very very nice and uh, getting the uh, dark matter trap is going to be good for pvp so we should be able to get this one also and then uh, meteor fission uh, this is not uh, advisable guys but uh, you need to get this one also, the unlimited star. So you need to go through this one. Alright. Since, since it will give us an additional penetration 
by 18% so getting that one is going to be good and then twinkling star for a uh, backslide and yeah that's it star searching trap I uh, mean a trap also is going to be good I think that's it guys and uh, one last try for the target of mine there you go going to show you my attack our attack is only 9341 our hit is 664 our lock is this one our crit damage is 269.9 so 270 crit damage and then our critical is 216 so uh, I suggest that you should please get a uh, 200 critical guys alright and then with this one since we have a yogan card we now have an additional 20 yes uh, 21 21.6 critical damage due to our yogan card alright so yeah that's it guys hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something from this if you do please hit the like button and if you want my future content please do subscribe until then see ya in the next one bye guys